Hey everybody, today we're going to be tying the elk hair caddis. This is just a simple variation. So this is a size 14 dry fly hook and I'm using a 70 denier UTC ultra thread in dark brown. Just going to start at the eye and wind that down to the bend. And now we're going to take our hackle feather. This is a rooster saddle hackle size 18 dyed brown. Just tie that in right there at the bend. And I like to do two good wraps. Uh, we're gonna secure it down later. Now we're gonna grab a few pheasant tail fibers. This is dyed dark brown. Uh, this is about seven pheasant tail fibers, I believe. Just tie in those fibers right there. And we're gonna secure the hackle feather down with those pheasant tail fibers. Just wind those up almost to the eye of the hook. Uh, these ones look like they're gonna be a little too long, so I'll cut those. Uh, never mind. That's gonna be too hard. Let's just tie that down. That'll be fine. And now we're gonna wind the pheasant tail fibers. Just gonna wind these up almost to the eye of the hook again. And these fibers are a bit bigger toward the butt section, so you'll see that it gets a slight taper as you go. That's what we want. And now we're going to tie that down is right before the eye. Secure those and cut them off. And now we're going to wind our hackle. We're not going to worry about uh, using a ribbing on this one. This is just a simple variation and the pheasant tail fibers look like they have a natural ribbing. Start winding that hackle. Just even wraps up to the eye of the hook. And once you get there, just tie that off. We want to make sure we get some good wraps to tie that off, but not too many to where we get the head of the fly too big. And now I like to do a single turn whip finish or a half hitch just to make sure we secure that down and don't let that hackle feather go crazy. All right, and cut the thread. Okay, I have no idea why I did that. <laughs> I was trying to clip the hackle feather. I just went brain dead for a second. Okay, so now we're going to start our thread again. This is not ideal, don't do what I just did. But we'll make it work. All right, cut that excess thread with my good scissors. Now we're going to come in with our scissors right on top of the fly and just cut those hackle fibers at the angle that the elk hair is going to sit. You'll see a lot of these elk hair caddises will have the elk hair sitting straight up. We don't want that, we want it to sit a little back. So Now we're going to take our elk hair that we've pre-stacked, we've pulled out the short hairs and the fluff, and we want it to be about to the back of the hook there, to the bend. Do two very loose wraps and then cinch it tight. And now we're gonna take about a third of those butt sections, do a securing wrap, another third, and then all the rest. Just one good wrap there. And now we're gonna come in with our whip finishing tool and do our whip finish right in front of those butt sections. Let's get a few good turns. And now we actually want to cut our thread. Alright, grab the butt sections of those elk hair and the wing portion. And we're just going to adjust those so that they're right on top. And now grab the butt sections and we're just going to cut those off at about the angle of the wing. Pretty close to the eye, sorry you couldn't see very well there. And do a little trim work if you need to. A 
go ahead and tie a few of these up, see how they do. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe.